wine stamps, watches, books, movies. This is a simple system that you can use to organize any collection. It can be something as simple as a list, a notebook and notes with the collection items, or as elaborate as a dynamic widget that will show you, for example, the books you plan to read or the wines you want to buy. This is another video inspired by the unofficial Evernote subreddit. And the question there was about movies and movie collection. And this is what I'm using as an example today. But like I said in the beginning, you can use it for any other collection. In my case, for example, I use for books, but not for movies. So let's take a look. Here's our basic list. I created this with data from IMDB. I copy and paste it here. I'll show you in a moment how I did this. And by the movies, I think you can tell my age. <laughs> One request a person had was a way to filter the movies to watch. So here's a simple way of doing it. This is our list. All we have to do here is add a tag. Let's call this tag watch. Watch. And of course, you already know what I'm gonna do here. Watch, select the tag watch, and these are the movies I plan to watch. You might have noticed that there are other tags here. So let's do it again. Watch, filter by this tag, and please pretend that this is a very long list, okay? <laughs> and here I wanna find in this list a family movie. As you can see here, Evernote is already suggesting other tags. These tags are in the notes that are in this filter, in the case filtered by the watch tag. So all we have to do now is add another tag, family, and here we have our movie. If you don't want to see how I built the note, you can jump to the widget chapter use the, the chapters here. First, let's add here the image. Next, a table with three lines. This one will merge, merge. This is where the description will be. So here, ear and director. And since we are here, you may be asking yourself, why the release date and the director are inside a table, inside the note, and I'm using tags for the genre of the movie. There's no right or wrong answer here. You can even filter all the movies from Steven Spielberg, typing Steven Spielberg in the search box and selecting the movie's notebook. It will work. I usually prefer tags when it's hard to remember. For example, the authors of a book. I may not remember all the author's name. I may not remember how to spell the name. So it's easier if I have a list of authors. And now thinking about it, maybe the director here should be a tag, but this is up to you and this is just an example. Let's go back to IMDB, copy this. Paste it here. The year is, what's the year? Okay, 89. And here's another optional thing I did. As you can see here, Steven Spielberg is a clickable link. Let's copy this and paste here. Is he the director? Yeah, it's him. Okay. If I click here, I'll go to Steven Spielberg IMDB page. Of course, this is also optional. It's just another example, another possibility. Okay, let's go back to the movie page, grab the movie address, the page, and note info and paste the URL here. So if I need more information about that movie, I can always click here and go to the movie page. And finally, let's add the action and adventure tags. Oops, we also have to add the name of the movie, of course. <laughs> You can also resize this if you prefer it smaller. 
And since we are here, let's search for Spielberg inside the movie's notebook. Let's talk about Gremlins. I know that I didn't add Spielberg because he's not the director. However, look at this. Steven Spielberg presents. This is in the image and Evernote found that information. There's a lot there I love in Evernote, but the simplicity is, I think, the top one. It's amazing that we can create a, a system like this without planning, without creating notes inside notes, folders inside folders, a database. There's no need for any of that. We can build it as we go. If tomorrow you want to add a new tag, that's okay. Just add the tag there. And you can select all the notes and add that tag to, to all the notes. It's so simple to understand and replicate a system like this. You can create it in no time as soon as you finish this video. But the tip here is always think of the note as the, the basic structure. In this case, the movie is the note because we can add information to that note. We can add tags to that note. We can add tags to that note. And maybe even a, a task or a calendar entry or any other information to that note. And then we can filter that using any of these criteria. We can use tasks, tags, calendars, words, creation date, whatever, having or not an image, whatever you want. My tip here is instead of creating a list inside a node, maybe think of the node as an item of a list, the nodes list. <laughs> okay, let's create our widget. Customize, filter it, notes, widget. It has to be inside the notebook movies and it has to have the watch tag. Let's call this watch and done. And here are the movies. Can you see how powerful it is thinking of the note as the item of a list. And now let's say we've watched Goonies. All we have to do is come here and delete the watch tag and go back to home and it's gone. If this was useful, I think you already know what to do. I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And here's another example of how you can use the note as an item of a list. Thanks for watching. See you soon.